Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the manga, and for anime only fans, this is a time of the month where a lot of the content that you guys are gonna see on the channel is gonna be spoiler heavy. However, if you're still here, I'm assuming that you guys are like me and you've either already read the manga or you're somebody who just doesn't care about spoilers. So I think we need to have a conversation now and calm down the fears of all the Sasuke Uchiha fans who are on suicide watch right now. People are saying Sasuke is so weak now that he's lost the Rinnegan that adult Sakura could bust Sasuke's ass now. And I'm gonna say right now, you guys are overreacting, I get it. Sasuke fans are saying like, man, my boy's been done dirty the entirety of the series. Urashiki was bodying this dude in the time slip arc on multiple occasions. Sasuke's always out of chakra. I've seen all the memes, but I think we need to do what we did with the Naruto video where I said, how strong is Naruto now that he's lost Karama? And I said, hey, I'm not power scaling, doing numbers and equations and all this stuff. I'm looking at some of the lore information. I'm saying like, hey, this is what we have. And this is how we can start the conversation about at a minimum, which means that you got a low point and a high point on how strong Naruto would be. And so we're going to do the same thing here with Sasuke. And I think it's very important that we actually start with the whole thing of Sasuke's always out of chakra. I think we need to start there. Yes, the Rinnegan does come with a pretty substantial boost in power. I think we all can agree upon that. At the same time, I think we need to look at the other drawback of having the Rinnegan and how it applies to Sasuke. So what's the drawback you might be asking? Well, the Rinnegan itself comes with a pretty substantial strain on your actual body. To give you an idea of how much strain that had, Obito had fucking Hashirama cells and Obito didn't even dare try and have both Rinnegan in his eye because he admitted himself his body couldn't handle it. So when you look at the fact that Sasuke had a more advanced Rinnegan eye and Sasuke was using more jutsu that eat up even more chakra, like the Manoteji car, like the interdimensional space time ninjutsu that he had for those Suski portals. That's your sign right there that Sasuke has a high chakra pool. We'll use a real world example, man. So if you treat Sasuke's Rinnegan like a car, okay? If Sasuke's Rinnegan was like my old Hellcat, on paper, I should be able to get like 15, 16 miles to the gallon on that car. But because of how much power it has, if I decide to floor my car and I take off real hard and I'm driving at a high speed, I'm going to burn through my gas a lot faster. So look at Sasuke's basic six pass jutsu like somebody having the car in cruise control. Anybody can drive your Hellcat at that point. But once you put both hands on the steering wheel and once you really let that motherfucker let loose, you're going to burn through a lot of your gas very quickly and you're gonna have to fill up very fast. Hence, Sasuke was always out of chakra. Now this is actually a really good transition to the fact that a lot of people think that Sasuke, if he isn't already stronger than the other four Kage, Naruto excluded, if he gets Hashirama cells via that Hashirama cell arm that Tsunade made for him, that Sasuke can get a lot stronger. I think a lot of people forget the fact that Sasuke already has Hashirama cells in his body. Kabuto gave him Hashirama cells, but Sasuke Sasuke is already stronger than the other four Kage, which is very important because those other four Kage are criminally underrated. And all you got to do is look at the fact that they were keeping up with Kenshiki in all continuities of the Boruto movie, whether it be the novels, whether it be the actual manga, whether it be the movie, whether it be the anime. In the light novels, it is directly stated that Kenshiki was almost killed by the Kage. These very same Kage, when Fuse Momoshiki was raising hell, they were getting taken out in one hit. We saw how fatigued Naruto in his base form was seeing attacks, reacting to attacks, taking multiple attacks that knocked out the other four Kage and right alongside of him was Sasuke also taking more than one attack from Fuse Momoshiki. And I believe in that time, you actually got a small glimpse as to what base Naruto and base Sasuke could do in their current situations now, because you saw a very clear power up once 
Naruto went into his QB chakra mode, then you saw a very clear power up when all of a sudden Sasuke is matching Naruto's intensity. They kicked it into a higher gear at that point. Even if you depower Sasuke by a significant amount, he's still more powerful than four out of the five Kage, and he's still able to use some of his hacks, like say the perfect Susano, which a lot of people are saying Sasuke no longer has the perfect Susano. That's not true. So one thing you have to kind of keep in mind is that Shisui Uchiha in the Naruto Ninja Escapades OVA had one Sharingan and he was able to use the Susano in that battle. When you look at the actual manga, one thing that we know is that Madara Uchiha with no eyes was actually able to use the Susano. And a big part of the reason for this is that all these characters have one thing in common. They awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan in both of their eyes. And that's huge right there because Sasuke awakened the Mangekyo Sharingan in both of his eyes. This is why this is so important right here. Sasuke still has his Susano, which means that you can still see Sasuke theoretically using his perfect Susano and doing the same things you saw in the Ninja War where Sasuke was using the Shidori and using Ninjutsu while actually using the perfect Susano. So that in itself makes Sasuke extremely busted, which sets up the next thing here. So a lot of people saying, well, Sasuke's nothing without his Rinnegan abilities. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, what the hell are you guys talking about? We're talking about Sasuke now has perfect chakra control at the age of 32 years old. Why is this so important? Well, Sasuke is a master of all five changes in chakra nature, which means that Sasuke, now that he does not have the Rinnegan strain on his body, Sasuke, in theory, should be able to start using more higher level ninjutsu for a longer period in time without actually burning through his chakra as fast. And the fact is, is that we have an idea of how overpowered Sasuke still is without his Rinnegan once you start looking at all the other information that we have about the Naruto lore that happens after the fourth great ninja war. Sasuke, we've seen him in his base have Genjutsu that is so overpowered that the dude is able to erase entire memories that took place in the time slip arc. The Genjutsu was so fucking potent that this dude was able to make Naruto forget meeting his son almost 19 years in the past. That's arguably up there with what Itachi did with Izumi Uchiha, which I covered in my video, how Itachi killed his lover on both of my channels. Itachi in one one millionth, one one thousandth of a second was able to make Izumi Uchiha live out an entire lifetime, over 70 years in her mind and make her body shut down and kill itself, making her think that she died of old age as Itachi's wife. What Sasuke did is arguably even more impressive of that, given the fact that the Genjutsu held up for this long. So already right there, you're seeing that Sasuke has Genjutsu ability that you could argue easily surpass anything Itachi did, but you could also argue that what Sasuke did with that 19 year long Genjutsu that he used on Naruto to erase his memories isn't as impressive as what Madara did when he in chapter 606, I believe, where Madara was able to borrow part of the Girumazu statue's power in order to create this Genjutsu that was so outlandishly overpowered that he's able to actually change his actual appearance into his younger self, teach Obito all the specifics of the ninja world and the Genjutsu and train Obito to a point to where Obito is able to make Minato think that he's fighting the real Madara Uchiha. So you could argue that at this point, Sasuke's Genjutsu is not on that level, but that's not bad company to be in. To say that your Genjutsu is arguably more advanced than Itachi's Genjutsu, but just short of what Madara is able to do. That's really not bad company to be in. Itachi. We have enough evidence to say that Itachi's Genjutsu surpassed his father, who had the fucking nickname Fugaku Wicked Ayuchiya, and Fugaku's Genjutsu was potent enough that during the QB attack, Fugaku thought that he could control the Nine Tails, the full Nine Tails. That's a level of Genjutsu skill that not your random Uchiha is able to actually do. The only person we know for certain that actually controlled the full Nine Tails via Genjutsu 
was fucking Madara Uchiha. So if you say that Sasuke's Genjutsu is just a smidget below Madara's, that's still highly advanced. We've seen Sasuke with Genjutsu that is on a level that a lot of people aren't giving him credit for. So you have in the Sasuke Sunrise novel where Sasuke is able to use Genjutsu to the point where he's able to relay messages. He's able to use Genjutsu to the point where he's actually able to peer into a person's mind and read through their actual memories. That was Sasuke in the aftermath of the fourth great ninja war. When you take into account that Sasuke, we're now 16 years removed from the fourth great ninja war. Sasuke's genjutsu has evolved to an entirely different level, which in of itself is already crazy, but don't get it twisted. I'm not here saying that Sasuke is gonna be some genjutsu beast. That's not really Sasuke's fighting style to just spam genjutsu like that. I think people do not realize the fact that Sasuke without his Rinnegan active is still pretty fucking strong and like one of the questions I get is like well can Sasuke still do flame manipulation well I mean we saw that to a brief extent when he was fighting against Fused Urashiki and Sasuke was able to use a Matarasu and then also wrap the flames around his actual sword so safe to say Sasuke still has flame manipulation because Sasuke's Rinnegan was not active during that time he didn't have enough chakra to activate it. Obviously, my man got depowered. Ain't nobody arguing against that. But I think we can all agree that Sasuke, at that bare minimum, is going to be more powerful than four out of the five Kage who were able to damn near kill Kenshiki in the novelization and did even better against Kenshiki in the actual anime format. I would think that we could all agree that Sasuke, between his Genjutsu, between his skill, his perfect chakra control, his high chakra levels, and Sasuke's own raw power, he's still second only to Naruto. Maybe you can kind of bring in the conversation of, well, if Rock Lee has the eighth gate, Rock Lee probably surpasses him, but we don't know how strong Rock Lee is as an adult now, so we can't have that conversation. But we have seen some stuff about Sasuke and Naruto to where you guys can start the conversation, but I just want to kind of present some of this information that way we can kind of restart the conversation and I'm very excited to see where you guys are putting Sasuke without the Rinnegan and Naruto without the Ninetales Chakra. I think it's really important that we start calming down the community a little bit. That way we can start putting as much information as possible on the table. That way we can, as a community, start talking and coming to our own conclusions until we get definite answers in the manga next time Naruto and Sasuke fight. However, I want to know from you guys, where do you guys think? Take the most powerful shinobi that have ever existed. Where do you put Naruto and Sasuke against them? And where do you put Naruto and Sasuke now in the ranking against all the other ninja that exist in Naruto now? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, have an awesome day, guys.